morning everybody welcome back to another morning word thanks for joining us this morning for those new to this this is where we share a short couple minute video really to share from my own personal bible study why is the question is because i really want to see your life go from here to here and that's backed up by god god says this i come to give you life but not just life i want to give you life more abundantly now, how do we do that, God? That's the real question. Where he says, listen, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if we can think like God, there is nothing that we can't achieve. There's no valley that we can't go through and no mountain top that we can't reach. Now, the one thing I have to say, please get a pen, get a pad, take notes. If what I'm saying at the end of this video sounds true, review your notes and then go apply it. Go apply the action of the day because without doing that, you'll never see the fruits of the wisdom that God's trying to give us. All right, so please apply it. Now let's get into this. We're going to be reading from the book of Joshua, which is the sixth book of the Bible. Uh, and we're reading from chapter 5, verse 11 to 12. And it reads this. The day after the Passover, that very day, they ate some of the produce of the land, unleavened bread and roasted grain. The manna stopped the day after that, that they ate the food from the land. There was no longer um, any manna for the Israelites. But that year, they ate of the produce of Canaan. Mm. We're going to call this sacrifice. This morning's word is called sacrifice. Now, for over 40 years, the nation of Israel was in a desert. This is a place of lack, isn't it? If you're in a desert, it's a place of lack. There were no luxuries. It was just basic amenities that were covered. God just gave them the basic amenities in that time of or that season of the desert. They were eating manna. There was no fancy food that you were hearing about this in that scripture. It was just the raw materials. But listen, the great thing is, when that season had finished, when that 40 years had finished, they were done away with eating manna, eating the dry bread, okay? They were able to eat the fruits, okay, of Canaan, the fruits of everything that they um, had been looking for, of the promised land, the land flowing of milk and honey, and it was good. It was good. But what you have to understand, before they could enter in the promised land, before they could eat the fruits of the land, they had to go through a season of sacrifice. And in our lives, before you enter in that life of living in that great home, okay, and eating the fruits of that, or living in the fruits of a great career that's paying well, or living in the fruits of having a great marriage, or living in the fruits of having a great child, there will become times of sacrifice. Times that you have to sacrifice and work that little bit harder and not get paid. That sacrifice where you're giving more into your marriage and your marriage is given to you. Giving more into your business and your business is not paying you. There are times when we have to sacrifice. We can't go on holidays. We can't do those things because you have to build something, okay, and sacrifice something now to have greatness tomorrow. But a lot of us are not prepared to sacrifice. We want it all now so we never achieve tomorrow. We never have that satisfaction of eating that great food from the promised land because we wasn't prepared to go through our desert seasons and learn the lessons that we need to learn. So that really takes me to the lesson of the day. Are you prepared to sacrifice for long-term success? Are you prepared to sacrifice today so you can have long-term success? Here's the lesson of the day. At times, we all have to make decisions to sacrifice now, okay, so we can win and gain in the future. If you don't sacrifice now, you will in the future. So hear what I said, if you don't sacrifice now, you will in the future. So that leads us to the action of the day. The action day is very simple. Make the sacrifices today so tomorrow you can live abundantly. Make the sacrifice, whatever it may be, whether that be meeting up with friends, whether that be spending, going to restaurants, whether that be just time, leisure time, sacrifice today so tomorrow you can live more abundantly. So God bless you. Uh, I pray that this blesses somebody whoever needs this this morning. And as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. God bless you and see you soon for another morning word. Please subscribe to our YouTube and social media channels so you get these videos Monday to Friday. But more importantly, share this with one person because I believe if we change the mindset of one person, we can change the world because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So God bless you and see you soon for another morning word.